Hey, this is uh, Alex Story from Cancer's Plug and Doyle, and uh, you're watching Slash of Pepper uh, with me. So, uh, cut your little line, let's do it. Enjoy that shit, motherfuckers. Hey guys, Slash of Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Alex Story from Cancer Slug and Doyle. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I just woke up, so. <laughs> good, good morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, how does the new album, Courtesy Flush, differ from the other albums? Uh, it's better in every possible way. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't think you should do an album unless you can do something better or something different. It's like we've been going for like 20 years in this band. So, it's like, you know, you don't want to repeat yourself, especially after that long. But uh, it's great. We got a new drummer. She's awesome. And, and uh, like, uh, just got some great songs. Went to a great studio. Everything sounds awesome. Awesome. I can't wait to hear it. Um, so how did you come up with the name Cancer Slug? Uh, I had an old Chevy Nova, like a, like a set, like, uh, and it was just horrible. It leaked everything. Like, every fluid leaked out of it. It had a trail of, like, blue toxic sludge smoke that went behind it everywhere it went just left this trail of death and like uh so i called the car the cancer slug. <laughs> and then it's like just you know you start a band you just want to name it something that no other man's name so i figured i was safe with that. <laughs> oh yeah for sure <laughs> um so how do you come up with all the awesome yeah. dark and fucked up lyrics I don't know. I guess just just uh, being alive. It's like uh, it's like you can't walk outside without getting pissed off at something. It's like it's like just watching people and like getting mad, getting angry. <laughs> it's like right. it's, 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 uh, there's plenty of uh, source material out there. <laughs> yeah, just when you go grocery shopping, you can come up with some stuff like that. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. So like, um, uh, we, we got this, uh, we got this, you know, shit going on with the coronavirus and stuff or whatever, you know, and, and these idiots want to like make it political. Like, it's like, it's a fucking virus. How are you making a virus political? It's like, fucking, it's, a, it's, you know, it's like, it's like, shut the fuck up. Like, it's like uh, my friend, like she was getting yelled at in the store for, for wearing a mask. Cause somehow they, that was something political. I don't know. It's like, I was going to have to fucking beat the shit out of this dude. Like, and I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, you know, you can't make everything fucking political. It's like, but that's people, man. People are pieces of shit. And that's why we write stuff like we do. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, and what's your personal favorite Cancer Slug song and why? I mean, it just depends on the moment. It's like, uh, like we got like thousands of songs. So, and I, I love them all for what they are, but it's like, uh, I look at it like, like uh, it's an arsenal, you know, and like, like, we're all about the live show and like live, you got to kind of read the audience. We don't really write a set list. We just kind of like are prepared with whatever songs that we need, depending on the crowd, the type of crowd It's like, like we just want to attack the crowd with a certain set of, of, of weapons that we got there. And like, uh, and, and, and we choose the song depending on the, on that particular crowd. So any given wow. night. Wow. That's awesome. I really like uh, My Black Angel. I think that's my favorite one. Hell yeah. That's, that's a, a, I wrote that a long time ago. That's like, that's about 20 years old. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, can we expect another Doyle album anytime soon? If he wants to make an album, I'll make an album with him. Uh, it's like, uh, it's like we've talked about it. We've got some songs that me and him have written for another album, but you know, it's like, it's just, you know, whether he feels like doing it or not, or whether he has time, like, it's like, uh, he's just, uh, he's a good friend of mine. Like, uh, I love helping him out with his band and, and, uh, like, you know, whenever he needs me to do anything, if he needs me to help him write a song or play a show, then that's what I do. Awesome. And, um, what non-punk metal or rock musician would you like to work with? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm I'm like a little bit schizophrenic and like uh and I'm like uh uh I got like a lot of really like social anxieties and stuff and so like it's hard for me to work with 
anybody. I mean, like I can work with Doyle because he's as, as fucked up in the head as I am. So it's like, we kind of get along like that, but like, uh, it's hard for me to like, uh, to coordinate. I mean, I've got a lot of, like, there's a lot of, uh, musicians I love, but it's like, uh, I mean, I can respect them from afar. I don't have to work with them. <laughs> right. I see. So what non, uh, punk metal and rock musicians do you like? I mean, I like all kinds of music. I, it's like, I don't really like any one specific genre. It's like, uh, even with Slug, we don't try to just like fit into one thing. I mean, like if we feel like playing a country song, we'll throw a country song in there. We'll play, feel like playing a blues or a jazzy number, we'll throw that on there. It's like, uh, you know, we just kind of like whatever comes out, comes out. I mean, I like all kinds of music. It's like, uh, I think you can't limit yourself. It's like, like music's too important. It's like, that's the soundtrack to your life. You know, it's like, you can't limit it to some one genre or something. It's like, you be fucking how boring would that be like if I listen right. to it's like but uh, i mean i like all kinds of shit like uh it's like um uh, I, 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 I wish uh i wish dax riggs would put out something new because it's like he ain't put out nothing in a while and fucking i really like him awesome so i have a few um bands you can choose between so yeah. black black flag or suicidal tendencies Oh man, they're both great, but I, if I got to pick, I'm going with Black Flag. Awesome. Uh, Metallica or Motorhead? Oh man, it's like, you know, you got to go with Motorhead. It's like, right. fucking, like I mean, I like, I, I grew up on that early Metallica stuff, but like, I mean, Motorhead's fucking Motorhead. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can't get, uh, you can't get better than Lemmy. Oh, I mean, but even even the Metallica guys would say more. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Alice Cooper or Ozzy Osbourne? I mean, that's I like them both, you know, so much. But like, uh, uh, like, like, I'd have to go with Ozzy just because he's so much fun. It's like, like Ozzy seems like you want to party with him, you know? It's like Ozzy, Ozzy, you just want to go get in some adventures or something. So right. uh, I, 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 I'd have to go with Ozzy. It's either partying with Ozzy or playing golf with Alice Cooper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alice Cooper, you got to go to church or something. I <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so I noticed your Cannibal Corpse shirt. So death or Cannibal Corpse? Oh, God damn. See, that's that's like impossible. See, uh, like Cannibal Corpse are my boys. It's like George, that's my, that's my homeboy, Rob. Like, oh, then we used to practice down in Tampa, like down there where Cannibal Corpse and Morbid Angel practice and stuff. Like my drummer at the time used to live with uh, one of dudes from Morbid and like fucking, like we used to like hang out with all them death metal bands and shit and like fucking get fucked up and stuff. And like, uh, I love them dudes. It's like uh, fucking like, like uh, that's impossible. But then like death, I mean, they started the fucking genre. You can't, like, not have, you know, it's like, there'd be no Cannibal Corpse or any other fucking, like, shit like that, you know, if it wasn't for death. So it's like, right. you know, like, that's like, that's an impossible choice right there. That's like fucking, it's like one of them's family and then one of them's, like, fucking, like, one of the greatest bands ever made. You know? <laughs> it's like, that's like, that's, that's, that's an impossible choice. All right. Um, and what are some of your favorite horror movies? Uh, I like, I like all kinds of horror shit, like fucking, um, uh, I mean, fuck, it's like, I, I love, like, uh, all the Italian stuff, like, like, especially like the 80s shit, like, 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 Lucio Fulci and everything, like, you know, I through all that shit, like, I love all the colors and all the fucking really shitty looking blood and all the fucking stuff, like, uh, it's like, uh, I mean, just all kinds, of, like, I mean, like, as long as it's got a good story or something, it's like, I, I like just about anything horror, man, it's like, fucking, I love monster movies, fucking, even like the stupid shit, like you know, like like, like Godzilla and shit. Like I, I love all this, like any <laughs> fucking, like you pretty much can't go wrong. But but uh, you know, real real Halloweeny themed stuff seems to be my my favorite. And like I like anthology stuff, like Creep Show and stuff like that. Like fucking like a lot of the old Hammer stuff and shit like that. Oh yeah, those are good. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you a fan of the uh, Tales from the Crypt show too, then? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. That one is good. Oh yeah. So, do you have anything to add to the interview? Oh uh, man, just fucking, uh, fucking have fun and, and buy my shit so that uh, I can buy drugs and have fun. And, uh, <laughs> and like, uh, since we can't tour right now, that's the only uh, money we get is when you fucking buy shit. So fucking, so everybody go buy my fucking record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and buy Courtesy Flush. Yeah. Where, where is it available now? 
Uh, it, it's not out yet. It comes out next month, but uh, we got we took the pre-orders on the website. The pre-orders are down right now, like, uh, but uh, but it'll be available next month everywhere. But we got like twenty years worth of music. We got like right. about six thousand songs. So I mean, you can you can find something to buy over there. <laughs> Go to the website <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, bro. You have waited this long. Hell no longer awaits.